Hello peeps, welcome again to channel 48. Thank you for tuning in. I'm today here with yeah, an older laptop. This is an HP. It's the DV5000. Uh, it's, yeah, what can I say? It's an old device that comes with a Windows XP sticker. Um, it's the Pavilion. Uh, it's from the Pavilion uh, family. Uh, yeah. It has one gigabyte of RAM. And it still works really good. It comes with Anto, what is it saying here? Uh, with Altec Lansing speakers. This thing has a soundbar that sounds really good. So yeah, what would you install on here? Except for Linux or even Mac OS that is not working because this thing has AMD Turian 64 bit processor, uh, comes with Windows XP, has an 80 video card. All in all, you know, great specs uh, for old uh, devices for the past, but not for the present. So, um, I want to make an ebook creator. I want to make a speaker from this thing. I want to use it for music, for reading the news to me uh, from text, for uh, converting uh, text to human voices for AI, um, and for many other things, in fact. You know, it's going to be just on the side and it will be doing something that I'm not doing on my main computer while I'm busy. You know, it's doing something else for me. So let's see what we can do with this device. I'm going to install Windows 7 Lite to it. I have a special version of Windows 7 Lite that I want to install. And, uh, and then I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to show you what it became. This will be, again, a pretty uh, long video, I think, uh, if I'm going to show it all. But probably I will just cut into the video and, you know, try to make it not too long. Mm -hmm. So whatever, get your popcorn, sit back and relax. And let's do some old school project and install Windows 7 Lite to the HP Pavilion DV5000. In this video, I will not teach you how to install Windows 7. Most of you know that already. It's a matter of creating a bootable USB stick with Rufus. Uh, set your bias of the laptop to boot from that USB stick. It's very simple. Uh, go into the bias, I think with F10. And then uh, look for boot options. And up there, you're going to see that... Uh, your hard disk will be set to the first. Uh, make sure to select that, uh, that, that tab, press it, and then if your USB stick is as well connected to the device, it will as well show that USB stick. Hit F6 to put that USB stick on top of the, of the internal hard drive, so it will boot from that USB stick. And then save your changes with F10, and then this should happen after the reboot. Uh, what you're seeing here is all happening on an AMD Turion 64. Uh, bit. Uh, I'm installing a 32-bit uh, operating system because I only have one gigabyte of RAM. This thing came with Windows XP. It's no big deal. Laptop was released in 2005. Okay. Um, yeah, it was nothing spectacular. It was uh, sold for uh, only 650 euros at that time, 2005. That was a good price. It was not uh, too expensive, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to teach you how to install Windows, but just letting those that never did it before know how they can get started to get to this part. Because if you get to this part, you, yeah, you already did it. Eh? The rest will be all automatic just for the part where you will get to uh, the customizing of your uh, internal drives. Uh, if everything can be removed, uh, from the machine then you won't have no headaches because it will be very simple just to delete all the drives until you have one left 
and then just continue and windows will automatically fix everything on that hard disk and after a reboot we're already preparing our desktop look at that this old machine well yeah it's an old machine peeps this thing is from yeah 2000 xp when when did xp come out hmm? i'm teaching a robot suriname language Eva Waka. Me go Taiji one story. Arky boom. Me no lava ma pang pang rot soy sang jo maki trade. <laughs> sang yo maki trade. Say yo maki, maki. Me. And then ki. Maki. Trade. Trade. San Joe Makey Trade. San you. Who are you? San you. Makey Trade. Me no lava ma pang pang rot soy san you makey trade. Yeah, the clean waiter. Eva Waka. Me go Taiji one story. Arky boom. Me no lava ma pang pang rot soy sang you makey trade. <laughs> Epics, look at that. It was installed. This is Windows 7 uh, Lite, ladies and gentlemen. A very nice uh, build. Uh, but as you can see, the sound is not working. And why is it not working? Well, uh, that is a secret, eh? But I'm gonna teach you how to fix that on this laptop because many people have problem with with this sound card so we're just gonna go to properties and then we're gonna go to device manager i will have to activate it myself this thing is not activating automatically we go to drivers and then to update driver browse my computer for drivers and then browse and then we're gonna go to 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 my C drive and up there I will have old windows, windows old and up there I should have users, yep start, yep and then in downloads and that is the location where it should find the driver my friends <laughs> that's how simple it is and that's how simple it is boom and the connect sound AC Link audio driver was, well, is installing, it's doing the polka, it's dancing the polka. There you can see, oh, it's already installed, amazing. So that driver is fixed. And then we have one more driver here, AC modem, same thing, same location, I should have a driver, and if not, then I'm terribly sorry. And then here in display drivers we must update that one as well driver update my computer and in that same location i as well have a driver for it jawel even though it's the one for xp it works very very good it works very good my friend and then we're gonna restart Plum. And soon we will be welcomed with, I think, a start of sound. But if not, then, yeah, ach, it's as well good, eh? no problem. I like this build. It looks good. I like the fact that it's not activated. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just an installer. And you need your own activation code for it. I'm sure you still have one lying around. Look at that, that old laptop. Look at it. Just a little bit higher. Okay.
We even have a Wi-Fi, ladies and gentlemen. It's unbelievable. Look at that. We have Wi-Fi. We can connect to the internet. Uh, but yeah, we don't have no tools yet. Uh, this is just a official light install. Nothing in here. Not activated. Uh, so that must as well happen. Um, yeah, that's it. Now you can go ahead and set it up. Lovely, lovely light system. I like this one very much. And especially the fact that it's not activated. That makes my day. You see that? You have 30 days to activate. So yeah, you must activate yourself. All right. And don't ask me for numbers. I have no number, only for myself. You see? So that is a study, my good friends. And then uh, I'm gonna do some magic and then I'm gonna come back to show you what it became. West Virginia and Virginia, with the bulk of the outages in Kentucky. Van Jackson checks on his dog, Jack, who was stranded at a church by floodwaters following a day of heavy rain in Garrett, Kentucky, July 28, 2022. Pat M-C-D-O-N-O-G-H, USA. Well, after some hours, I'm kind of done. And... Uh... worden blind en sterven in blindheid. Wij konden dat niet accepteren en we hebben missies opgezet om naar ze toe te gaan. Per vliegtuig. I have most of my plugins installed. I did not go for the latest Firefox, the 100 and something build. I went for build 60 after first downgrading to build 80. Um, yeah, this is not about uh, having some secure system. This is about having a system that can, yeah, can be used to say this way and uh, i in fact want to make a yeah in fact the ai speaker from this thing you know okay so hours later peeps welcome back you could hear the ai part uh, just now it was reading uh, the news to me thanks to firefox uh, i used firefox 60 because yeah the hundred and uh, something model was way too heavy uh, then downgraded to 80 and then yeah 80 was still too heavy i didn't like uh, the way how it was yeah dealing with with pages and so and then i downgraded to 60 and 60 that's it that is exactly what you need uh, firefox 60 to have uh, a system running nice uh, and and smooth uh, up here you can see a little tool that i found it's called a free pc audio recorder it's a uh, freeware and uh, you can select your uh, your your card your your output of the card you can select the microphone or the the sound card and if you select the sound card it will record i'm recording a Suriname station now that is playing uh, effect over the internet here yeah. you see that this is effect the radio station that I'm copying or just recording and uh, that is kind of cool because now it's recording and uh, you see but if I put the sound off it keeps recording So the coolest of this is as well that uh, uh, I can, for instance, if I want to record a certain uh, news items that my uh, built-in AI uh, will read to me, I will be able to record it with this little application if I cannot download it because I have two AIs in the browser built-in, one that will uh, have amazing voices, really, really good voices. Uh, I can let you hear some of it in my VLC player. I will as well tell you what I installed. 
and what not to install you should not install any virus scanner just turn on uh, the internal uh, firewall of this thing and and you'll be good to go okay uh, let me see where i have some files can't remember oh yeah mp3 recorder yeah these are files that i recorded let me see what it is it's playing I hear no sound. Oh yeah, probably because the sound card is busy. Oh yeah, and my sound is off. This is uh, Kron Chong that I... Uh, in fact, how can I do that the best? If I'm gonna turn off the sound here... this then it will not record i think oh it's still recording even with the sound off amazing so i can let you hear the crunch on this is music from indonesia This is called Gamalang. This is Gamalang music that I recorded with this machine. And others as well. Let me see what this is. This file is in use. Oh, okay. That is the recording that is being used. What is it? Ojo lali, ojo lali kar aku. So that is the radio. Um, hey, wait a minute. Here is nothing is happening anymore. So let's stop it. You see, you cannot play with this thing. Uh, the recordings you find by selecting few logs. So I love this application really a whole lot. It doesn't look nice. It's not fancy, but it's amazing. Thanks to Linux, I became way more forgiving uh, if it comes up to UI and, 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 and stuff like that. Um, how something looks. To me, now it's how something works. You know, we don't look at the outside. We look at the inside. I'm recording this music, you know. Radio Koyeba, Suriname. They just woke up, you hear the guys? <laughs> it's very early in Suriname, it's five hours earlier than here. And the local time here is now something, it's 11.30 in the morning, so it's about five o'clock there something like that 4 30. i can't even hear the guy so what do i have more i have uh, uh the sm player i installed uh, to watch tv because yeah experience over the browser is not so amazing so i i just uh, uh got some um some m3u uh, playlist and by typing 480 i will get all the 480p videos uh, i mean streams and those are those are okay the sport reminder wordt u aangeboden door stichting kaya Goeiedag, mijn naam is Renate Laken. Renate Laken is op vakantie in Suriname en doet werk bij de radio. Wat leuk, wat leuk. En dan nog wat 
this is oh i see <laughs> these are still videos that they got from uh, this is by the library of congress esperanza tv I'm as well connected so, via the cable. Encuentro de Reavivados por su palabra. Un momento diario de reflexión, de meditación, basado en la palabra. The meditation. This guy is doing meditation there. So, you can watch TV. This is a film. Don't try to watch 720p uh, on a laptop with one gigabyte of RAM, that is, uh, that is not wise, okay? I'm gonna play this video, otherwise Bollywood will give me copyright complaint. I don't want that. Etc, um, etc, et so you can watch TV, thanks to the SM player. Um, that is really cool. The free audio recorder you already saw. Uh, for the rest, yeah. Um, I installed all the codecs, the Mega Codec Pack, uh, K Lite Mega Codec Pack. I installed, so I have all codecs on board that as well helps uh, to play file formats and to yeah, record stuff and so. Um, and that's it. That's it. In fact, um, gifted a nice wallpaper, gifted uh, a nice. Uh, widget gadget there the seven clock and i have a nice recorder that is not recording anything at the moment so yeah this is what it became and uh, as a second device uh, or maybe if it's your only device it will do pretty good you know um i love the fact that i can simply Go to the news. Boom. There's only one thing Google changed um, the website. They updated the website, uh, as you could see. You see, it's now kind of a little bit different. And uh, if I'm gonna let my AI read the headlines. See what's gonna happen. You see, it's not getting to the to the headlines anymore. You must now really select a news item. And I can as well let it be indexed by the other AI. Then I have real human voices. Otherwise, yeah, the other is as well a real human voice. It's nice to have a device like this. Especially because you made it yourself. So if I now click my speaker, don't know what this is oh there it is do you have a winning ticket for the 1.28 billion dollars mega millions here are the six numbers nancy linners left and prince joseph israel fill out mega millions play slips at bluebird liquor in hawthorne california tuesday july 26 2022 cnn the winning numbers for Friday's Mega Millions drawing for an estimated $1.28 billion were 1336455767 with a Mega Ball of 14. Friday's jackpot was the lottery's second largest prize in its 20-year history, and it came with a cash value option of $742.2 million. 
the Mega Millions jackpot record is $1.537 billion, won by a single ticket sold in South Carolina in 2018. That's the second largest jackpot for any U.S. lottery game, though it's the world's largest lottery prize won by just one ticket, according to Mega Millions. The largest jackpot of any U.S. lottery game was $1.586 billion, a Powerball prize from January 13, 2016, shared by winners in California, Florida and Tennessee. Timothy Schultz, who won a $28 million Powerball jackpot in 1999 and now hosts a lottery podcast, told CNN winning can really turn your life on its head. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, so this is one of the voices, but I as well have even better voices. Listen to this. I'm adding the text to the feed. And this I will as well be able to download as an MP3. So I can use it in my in my in my works. Do you have a winning ticket for the 1.28 billion dollars Mega Millions? Here are the six numbers. The now don't forget this is happening on uh, on a laptop from 2005. Eh? Here I'm downloading the audio. I hope it came in the right way. With this AI, I sometimes find on this old machine that it's not loading the full message. But let's. Do you see. have a winning ticket for the 1.28 billion dollars Mega Millions? Here are the six numbers. The winning numbers for Friday's Mega Millions drawing for an estimated $1.28 billion were 13, 36, 45, 57, 67 with a Mega Ball of 14. Hey, what you Friday's say about Jackpot that? was the lottery's second largest prize in what its 20-year history. And it came with a cash value option of... What do you say about that? This file I can now use in, in a presentation. Or I can rewrite it, you know? And, uh, yeah... I can use it. It's uh, MP3, good quality, and that made with this 2005 laptop, because this thing was released in January 2005. Um, that makes it 17 years old, right? Almost 18. So yeah, for this age of the laptop, even a good, still good working battery, I can say that HP really did a great job uh, creating this laptop as well with the Altec Lansing uh, speaker sets built in you know I think they did an amazing job and that you can see in 2022 you know now we can see how good these devices were that we bought for so much money in the past this thing costed at that time 2005 I think 14, I don't know, I cannot remember. Uh, price DV 5000 release date 2005. Let's see what it, what it costed. Um, let's see. Maybe you can see it here. It's CNET. This is as well not the fastest experience in the world. Eh? And we are connected to a network cable. We can as well use the Wi-Fi. It costed 600. Oh, that was highly affordable. That was uh, not expensive. 679 dollars in... Oh no, wait, wait, wait. That was the DV4000. That was the DV4000, we're talking about the DV5000. The DV5000 set can't handle. We think it's a very good choice for any student. DV5000 set. DV5000. They're only talking about the set. I don't have the set. I have the normal 5,000, but yeah, 
what can you expect for that time it was a very good laptop you know for 600 euros or dollars you see that it was presented as a very decent laptop look at it lovely device and it still lives in 2022 only the drivers for Windows 7, remember, you must use the XP drivers. Just just, just Google the XP drivers, get them from HP uh, uh, website. Okay, unpack them and just point your uh, driver in Device Manager uh, to, to the folder where you that you unpacked the driver to. Okay, then it's going to work. It will install and you're going to have sound because sound will not work after the install and now yeah what can i say peeps uh, you should not do banking you should not uh, log into any of your accounts without a two-step verification meaning that if you're gonna log in for the first time with this thing you know you're gonna get a message ping sms whatsoever phone call from google asking you if this is you and if this is really you wanting to log in with a windows 7 computer laptop and then the only thing you have to do is say yes and then you are in but be careful um this is an old laptop don't go do crazy things on it use it for entertainment use it uh yeah you can even use it to do some video Editing, uh, you could install Camtasia 4, it was released on 18th of July 2007, I think it was, I cannot remember, but uh, the, the version of 18 July, the, the version 4, that's what you need, and then you can make desktop recordings in AV format, you know, and that AV format you can easily with the built-in VLC media player convert to MP4 with the AC, AC, ACC codec for the audio and uh, the 264 codec for you know the MP4 for the video and then you're gonna have an amazing device uh, at least yeah, amazing device you will do amazing things uh, with an old device still in 2022 and the thing will even entertain you and play your TV for you and do your radio recordings and, 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 and download your ebooks. At least you will be able to create ebooks. And, and yeah, that's it, peeps. That's it. That is exactly what I wanted to astonish with this device. Uh, it's not activated, okay? Um, you can see it's, it's not activated. I have 29 days to activate it. Uh, I have no product key, unfortunately this is, uh, um, yeah, in fact this is uh, ultimate and I never had the ultimate in my life, so I cannot, you know, activate this. Uh, but I still want to give credits to uh, to Kat Mao, Kat Mao, because he was the man that, uh, yeah, in fact created this super light edition. He will as well recognize his logo here. So Kat Mao, uh, for whatever you did in 2017, I can say uh, this is a cool, uh, a cool light version. Uh, it runs good on the yeah 1.25 gigabyte installed memory. Uh, it's 32-bit. It's all good. You know, no big deal. Um, it works. This this old laptop uh, can be of any use. Again and uh it can even yeah it can be a worker for you to to create your ebooks that you could as well yeah if you're a writer uh, this machine will be more than enough for you to create your works only uh yeah if you need some uh some voices uh, you will have to connect to the internet and use the voices we don't have them built into the operating system itself we're using them from third third party locations uh, but it works amazing and uh, yeah big provider uh, for the the most common voices that i'm using the the, the voices uh, by the browser ai goes to google because i'm using google translate 
and here you will have to set it up as well and you will have to give permission and in the new browser uh, from Firefox uh, it's hard to find because if you go here if you click the speaker it all takes a little bit you must give it a little bit uh, of chance to load uh. it must first load the website and then it can load the speaker so if we go to the speaker here if we hit the stop you will see wait a second we select here the languages you will see that you will be immediately in google translate all these languages you have on board you see i as well have dutch french german name it i have it all uh, and this is all with thanks to google okay but in the new firefox you will as well find other voices very confusing you can almost not find the google voices google anymore you see that so that is kind of yeah that's why i'm very happy to be on 60 because my radio plug in works everything works that i wanted to install so, so peeps with these sounds uh, i'm gonna say goodbye to you thank you for watching and uh, have an amazing weekend and build yourself a nice windows laptop Thank mm -hmm. you.